Ryzen is here. Yep, AMD Ryzen has finally landed. It's been announced about like yesterday. The NDA on the event, on the press conference where they released AMD Ryzen was yesterday and it's pretty exciting what just came out from that press conference. I have to say that I am really excited for what's coming in the future with AMD Ryzen. So let's do a quick recap of AMD Ryzen. Here's everything you need to know. They recently announced a brand new CPU range. It's the Ryzen. It's a Ryzen architecture and Ryzen series of CPUs. And there were three new CPUs. I'm using my phone here because um, this video was made quickly in a rush. So sorry about that. So three new CPUs were announced. The 1800X Ryzen 7 1800X, which has a 3.6 gigahertz stock clock and a 4 gigahertz boost. That can even go up to 4.1 gigahertz with some special uh, AMD feature. And it costs USD $499. It's targeted at the i7 6900K, so that's something to take note. The Ryzen 7 1700X. Um, comes just below that with 3.4 gigahertz stock clock speed and that turbos to 3.8 gigahertz for 399 US dollars which is targeted at the 6800k from Intel as well um, and there's and finally the cheapest of the three CPUs that were announced a CPU that is full-on insane value the Ryzen 7 1700 it has a 3, 3 gigahertz stock base clock and it turbos to 3.6 3.7 gigahertz boost and it showcases an insanely low TDP of 60 watt, 65 watts which is even lower than some of in, than Intel's Pentiums or i3s if I'm not wrong which is insane and it only costs 229 US dollars it's cheaper than the i7 7700K now these CPUs are 8 core 16 thread CPUs and they're going to kind of represent the top one tier of CPUs from AMD uh, which is interesting I guess just starting in the high end which is unlike them because with the AMD GPUs the RX 480 they, they, they started in the mid range but with the CPUs that are starting in the high end all these CPUs also feature 16 megabytes of L3 cache which is good i guess and they feature a slew of new technologies that allow for like better multitasking better live stream encoding better workload better you know big heavy almost professional grade workloads which is dope and chips will also release alongside a large variety of motherboards from different manufacturers a asrock asus msi i'm not sure if evj started making amd motherboards i don't think so but possibly so if you buy these chips brand new first day pre-order even um, you will not be limited by your motherboard options which is a definite bonus by the way in terms of motherboard chips so it's it's been covered before but it, there are like six chipsets but you really need all re you only really need to care about two chipsets the x270 and the x370 which are the only overclockable chipsets available for ryzen however for amd ryzen every cpu is overclockable so you could get a super low-end dual core if there is a dual core in the lineup and just overclock it to your heart's content in the future when they announce more cpus which is very interesting and pretty excited about that and um that's pretty awesome specs so far but what does this mean for intel and the cpu market in general Intel will definitely lose the monopoly and kind of chokehold they currently have on the CPU market as these AMD chips are really really priced extremely aggressively and they this AMD chips you can get an 8 core CPU for the price of an Intel 7700K that's insane Intel cannot match this quality and this value for money at least not yet and they're probably a year away from having a proper response to answering this kind of crisis Intel probably is panicking like crazy right now and all these cpus are overclockable from amd meaning with the right motherboard you can also get unbelievably great performance out of these chips which are already value for money because of that super low tdp that gives a lot of overclocking headroom meaning you can just overclock and squeeze out as much performance as you possibly want or able to get out of these chips because 
of that TDP. It's amazing. It, it's there's so many options, and there's so much potential there for like value, insane value or oriented rigs to be created with AMD Ryzen. So that's extremely exciting. So Intel has never been known for value, especially since they pretty much have a monopoly on the market, and they continue to kind of be the lead because Ryzen has hit shelves yet. But it's unlikely they're gonna lower the prices that aggressively, and they're they may underestimate in AMD here which is something that I kind of hope happens because Intel needs to go down in terms of their lead of AMD before they actually do something about it so yeah uh, Intel probably will lose out quite a bit and AMD is going to be able to claw back a lot of market share which is actually really good for us because competition is always good for the consumer now performance wise AMD is not not uh, not behind no way this is not the amd bulldozer this is ryzen the high-end ryzen 7 1800x keeps up with the 6900k which is a 1050 buck processor no problem no biggie it's a 10 core 8 core processor versus a 10 core processor now both of these are at stock clocks but the amd chip does actually have a lower tdp meaning the higher tdp intel chip is going to actually clock lower than the amd and even if you push both of them to extremely high overclocks the AMD is likely to be able to win in fact in some of the benchmarks AMD showcased at their press conference it beat the 6900k by about nine percent in terms of performance which is awesome wait is the 6900k 10 core maybe it's not um sometimes I'm kind of confused about the CPU CPU naming scheme Com correct me in the wrong correct me if I'm wrong in the comments um I won't mind so Moving down with here, uh, now the 6 1800X is 500 bucks, okay, 499 USD. And for the performance and the claims it can provide against the 1600K, it's insane because it's 500 bucks versus 1050 bucks. So insane value there from AMD, which is kind of the main kind of attraction Ryzen is going to be providing over Intel, which is value, value for money, more performance for your cash which is awesome and the middle of the three cpus released we have the 7 ryzen 7 1700x which i kind of see which i think is kind of pointless because the 1700 has so much overclocking potential that it will be un, it will be unlikely that you cannot overclock the 700 to the 1700x levels sorry for hitting the table there the mic's on the table and i don't have a shock arm so shock, shock mount so yeah according to amd it has no difficulty destroying the 1600k from in all the tests they showcase so gaming multitasking live video encodings so of live streaming and everything um according to amd it destroys the 1600 6800k in both uh in single threaded and hyper threaded workloads and hyper threaded workloads apparently it, it performed 39 percent better than intel and a lot of this multi-threading performance upgrade apparently is from some technology that allows amd's cpu cores to interact uh, to communicate better with each other, meaning they can work better together for multi-threading workloads, which is extremely, extremely interesting. And f and this is also once again very insane because the 700X is 399 USD, which is cheaper by the six cheaper than the 6800K by quite a significant margin. And AMD is just undercutting here and providing undercutting Intel in terms of price here and providing more performance, which is freaking awesome and i'm really hyped about that and finally at the lowest end of the three cpus but one that i think will sell extremely well the amd ryzen 7 1700 it performs better than the 7700k because it's got pretty much two times the number of cores in terms of multi-threaded workloads multitasking um, rendering live streaming whatever because of the mo the increase in number of cores while still being extremely cheap and $70 cheaper than the 7700K, at, coming at 329 USD. And single threaded wise, it may lose out a bit to the 7700K, but the Ryzen 7 1700 is likely going to be able to overclock a lot and compensate for that performance difference because it has a 65 watt TDP with a decent motherboard. You probably can compensate for that single threaded performance difference, which is awesome. And it's just insane value because it's so cheap. It's cheaper than 7700K, but yet performs better. And 
I'm seeing a lot of Twitch streamers, especially those kind of medium-sized ones that don't have sponsors. I'm I'm foreseeing that a lot of them start using the Ryzen 7 1700. They'll get that motherboard, 32 gigs of RAM, and overclock like crazy because of that low, D low TDP, and get a great streaming gaming setup for Twitch streaming. So I'm, I'm kind of expecting more and more Twitch streamers, especially those that don't get free hardware, to start using this CPU a lot. It's going to be probably the most common workhorse CPU for live streamers on Twitch or YouTube gaming or whatever. So watch out for that because of its insane value. And um, I'll probably get one of those if I manage to save out that much money in the future, which I'm already beginning to do. I'm so excited, I'm so hyped, and I really want the Ryzen CPUs. Anyway, also, in a surprising turn of events, AMD CPUs actually run cooler than their Intel counterparts. Ooh, you didn't see that coming, did you? Um, and they just was like super low TDPs, 95 watts, 65 watts, it's insane. Um, I don't know how they did it, but they did it anyway, which is awesome. Intel can, is, I guess Intel's the new AMD, they produce more heat now. Well. Wow unbelievable very 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 surprising and um both amd's and intel's latest cpus from the x99 platform and the z270 platform whatever and the x370 platform the ryzen platform both support all the latest kind of standards and features like ddr4 ram um, usb 3.1 usb type c gigabit ethernet um, Gigabit Ethernet, PCIe 3.0, M SATA, M.2 SATA, and VME SATA, PCIe SATA, dot 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 dot. And although this will be this is the case, um Thunderbolt is still limited to Intel, so it's probably unlikely that you see Apple jump ship from Intel to AMD despite the price difference. Um, Apple probably will go for the cheaper CPU usually, but Thunderbolt is something they have based a lot of their systems on like their MacBook, so it's probably unlikely to see the AMD Ryzen chips appearing in Macs anytime soon, unless Apple comes up with another solution to make Thunderbolt compatible with current a with the AMD chips. Because, you know, Apple's chipscape, they want to put an equal performance, equally performing chip that costs them way less, so they probably go AMD if possible. So how does this affect the future of the CPU market? Well, I think the CPU market is going to be shaken up so much, and that's awesome. It's going to go through some exciting times. You're going to watch AMD and Intel trade blows with new releases every month, every week even. No, it's not every week. Every month or every quarter even, which is insane. Because, uh, and I'm, I think AMD is likely to claw themselves a lot of market share back from Intel since the bulldozer era, which is awesome for the CPU market in general because more competition means we get low prices and high performance. But Intel definitely won't be taking this push from AMD sitting down, although their re response is going to be quite slow because developing CPU takes time and they're probably not that complete yet with the something lake canon lake cpus so it's still going to take some time before intel can retaliate properly and i in that time period amd is going to ship a lot of ryzen chips hopefully if the performance isn't a complete flop please amd be good um as for us consumers let's just sit back and relax and just enjoy the show that's going to be the shit show that's going to be amd versus intel this is so exciting i can't wait to see the cpu market just exploding with so many new releases and just you know com intel compensating for ignoring moore's laws last year and just kind of giving four times performance this year that'd be absolutely amazing and uh, I just can't wait, you know, I'm just so full of excitement and passion for the fact that yes, AMD and Intel and all the CPUs are going to become way, way cheaper. And um, if you were looking to buying a CPU now, building a game PC, I would definitely say hold on, hold back, because Ryzen, once Ryzen hits the shelf March 2nd internationally, you're probably going to want it more than the other CPUs because it's going to lower the price of Intel's and once again, and AMD's chips themselves are extremely value for money already so finally the killer feature that i think amd 
will use to completely destroy Intel is that the stock coolant now comes with RGB lighting. So yeah, 2017. It's going to be a great year for PCs. I can't wait to see what happens along with the release of AMD Vega GPUs. And um, subscribe if you want to see my coverage of all this drama because I'm saving up for Ryzen CPU for the Ryzen CPU right now to upgrade my rig with a G3258. And I can't wait to see um, how it's like. And tell me what you guys want to see me cover about Ryzen AMD Ryzen CPU. I'll probably get the 1700 if I can afford it. Tell me in the comments below so I can, you know, I can work on those videos. I need to find out what is the demand. And I like this video if you enjoyed it. And of course, share this video with like PC Master Race groups to spread that AMD Ryzen hype. AMD hopefully will rise again this time. And I just really hope they do. You know, AMD, AMD, please don't fail us again. We need you to succeed. All right. I don't think AMD will ever, if they feel this push for success, if they feel it, they probably won't ever get a second chance. Intel is going to be the sole CPU manufacturer for quite a long time until another CPU company appears. Good luck to AMD. Thanks to you guys, all of you guys for watching and um, I'll see you guys next time. Sorry for the long video by the way, I was so excited and I was rambling on and on about this CPU. I'm just so hyped for it and I hope you guys understand this kind of excitement I have in my body. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye or peace or something else. S stay classy. I don't know. I, I don't have a closer. I still have no clo Okay. This video is being way too long. See you guys. Bye.